Welcome back to the Chapman Family YouTube. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today we're going to do a twist out on my daughter's natural hair. Um, it's already been washed overnight. Last night we washed it. And I always put it in these two braids, one at the top and one at the bottom, in order to let it air dry. And then I'll take that braid out. And it's kind of like my crepe style. I'm going to insert a clip that will show you um, how far she's came since we started doing this. Using those two braids allows me to dry her hair without any heat and to stretch her hair and to get it ready for styling. So once I took the back section out, I decided to leave the front section in to make um, styling the hair easier because it only gives me half of the, the hair to work with. So then I went in and made my first section and put some some a lot of body foam on it and i also added some curling cream a little bit of curling cream now i moisturize moisturize her hair after she got out of the shower and then i'm going to go in and add some design essential just a little bit and and i also added some soft curl gel to make sure that it held its curl and then i'm going to go in and start twisting now you want to try to make sure that your sections are pretty even um, when you're doing the twist and you also want to make sure that each section is twist is smooth. All right, I'm trying to even up my sections. Now, if you don't have it um, even, it's not going to be the end of the world it's just that with the even twist it does seem to look better in the end and I just start twisting I make sure that it's tight at the root and once I get it tight at the root then I start changing my hand position so that I can move a little bit faster and once I get midway um, down the, um, the section I usually go in and you know detangle again detangle the ends and today I'm doing something different. I am using some small perm rods on the end. Now this is my first time using the perm rods on a twist out for. And then once I got, you know, a little past halfway, I started to just comb again. And then I started rolling it up with the, the rollers. And if I had to go back and do it again, I would go ahead and actually stop twisting you know further up more closer to her scalp and this is me adding that perm rod now this is going to give a stretch a more stretched look since i didn't go as high up with the roller and here i am just making sure it's smooth on the the roller i always want to make sure that it's smooth the ends are smooth on the roller so that you don't have any tangles when you get when it's dry and you start taking it out all right so i have my first section and i didn't um have a rhyme or reason on how i sectioned the hair um i actually think that it's better to have you know random sections because it helps with you know the parts in the end because remember you can wear this style as an actual style but you also the look that you're going for is for a twist style and you don't want so many of those parts to be evident so you know you kind of want to randomize your parts you don't want it to be too neat and even because you will be able to see those parts and this is me doing that same technique where um, I start off twisting pretty tight at the root and then I change my hand position so that I can go faster and then once I get midway I'm going to go ahead and start to detangle again and then I continue to twist and once I get to the end I will add in my perm rod and on some of the sections I noticed that the ends were a little still a little dry so I added a little bit more foam mousse and then I started to roll. And I used different sizes. I used the pink and the purple, and it seemed to work out fine. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Um, we would love to have you as part of the Chapman family. And like I said, there are more videos to come. We try to post at least once a week.
for all the dads and moms out there that's looking for easy um, hairstyle, this twi two strand twist out with the perm rods is a really easy hairstyle. And as I said, it's like a two for one hairstyle because you can twist it and let it dry and then, you know, take your rolls out and wear the twist for a couple of days and then you can take the twist out and then you have a totally different style with the twist out. And it doesn't take long to do as well. Now I'm going to take out the top section and it was really hard to, you know, get that rubber band out. So I rather not rip her hair. So I did use my mouth. I know that, that that's crazy, but I went ahead and took that top section with the braid. As you can see, her hair is moisturized in that braid is fully dry and it's stressed. So those braids really helped me in the long run to keep her hair um, moisturized before we put in the actual style. And we've been doing it for, you know, for a long time. This is how we normally, if we wash her hair, we normally use those twists. Now I'm gonna part it down the middle so we'll have a section. Um, so basically you'll have a middle part and her hair will hang on both sides. And I'm not the best at parting, so don't feel um, bad if your part is not straight. All right, once I get to the style, get to the size, then I will start, you know, twisting down. And I did one section, you know, as a base. And I've already done the um, right side of her hair. So this is me just showing you the left side. And the video is sped up so that um, you don't have to just sit there and watch me, you know, twist over and over. Cause it's pretty much easy. It's just a two strand twist. And then once you get to the end, comb it out and then add your perm rod. Now I'm finishing up my last twist and I'm just rolling it. And like I said, if I had to go back and do it and I will redo this style, then I would make sure that I did the, the roller actually higher. And I think once I started getting to the front, I did actually do it higher. I let her hair air dry and then we started to remove the rollers once it was dry. Now I will say this was late at night so you will see how she actually wore her, head, wore her hair and we use a um, bonnet in order to let her sleep because I didn't take the twist out that night because it was super late. So I just made sure I took out the rollers and you see that you have the loose curls there on the end. And I feel like if I would have rolled it higher, the curls would have been a little tighter. Comment and let me know what you think. Let me know what um, you think. Do you think that I should have rolled them higher? Or do you think that, you know, by 
doing it loose at the end that it can it let her hair still be straight and so that it wouldn't be as you know tight because her dirt her hair does seem to you know really shrink up a lot so i think that it would look nice if it if we would have rolled it a little you know higher but let me know what you think So unfortunately I didn't get footage of the end when I took the, the twist out because she wore her hair in those twists with the curls for a couple of days. Um, we just didn't have the time to take out the twist, but that's a good part about the style. So I did go back in on the third day and just kind of uh, refresh her twist and I added perm rolls to the end but then I made her a ponytail in the front and I just twisted it and I only put one perm rod at the end. So this is me taking the twist out. I still think the style looked good. Um, once I was done, I'm going in and you know, just fluffing. And I guess that was the beauty of the style. You know, you didn't have to take the twist out right away. And I'm just make sure when you're fluffing um, the twists are separating that you separate where it wants to naturally um, separate and also that you have um, some kind of oil on your hand to kind of reduce frizz but then when you have fine hair um, thin hair like she does you know a little frizz doesn't help you know it just adds a little volume to me so the front section I only did one twist there in the ponytail and then I started to unravel. I really like how her curls look. Thank you so much for the support on our channel. You know, we're growing, um, we're growing slowly, but we're still growing. And my son wanted to get his camera time. I really like how this turned out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you can be notified when we post new videos.